Stop recording. Face centered. Speech off. Hi guys, it's VI Life with Kelly coming back at you with another video. Um, this video is going to be about my experience at the Waldorf Astoria Spa here in Buckhead, Atlanta, Georgia. So if you are interested in hearing about my experience, then keep watching. Yes, guys, that is my video playing in the background. Whenever I upload videos, I immediately watch them to make sure that what I think is uploaded is actually uploaded. I did want to tell you guys, um, I did the whole brunch at STK Atlanta and I did the review and everything like that. And um, when I go next time, I'm going to actually film being in there. It's just going to be you visual content for my non-visual um viewers so um i'm going to film visual content for you guys to see around and then i'm also going to um pull up the menu so that you guys could have like a better idea of what's on the menu as well as um like the difference in pricing because i will tell you um you could have easily had a breakfast item and a drink and spent less than or maybe right around like forty dollars so it's definitely depending on what you're picking on that menu you could easily go there and spend anywhere from if it's just you okay for one person you could spend thirty dollars and up um and that means you're getting an entree and then you're getting a beverage now just know everything is a la carte so it's like if you order french toast you're just getting french toast if you wanted to add eggs or add bacon or add sausage or add i don't know a benedict an egg benedict or like i don't whatever or potatoes breakfast potatoes which I forgot to try that. I did want to try their breakfast potatoes. So that'll probably happen next time. But all of that is a la carte. So it may be like an extra $9. If their sides for their dinner entrees are 18 then their sides, you know, are probably like half that for breakfast. So you're definitely looking at like $40 minimum because after they include the gratuity as well, the tax and the gratuity. So I would say you could spend $40 and up um, for one person, just depending on what you add. Because if you add a steak option, that's automatically raising your bill $50, um, $56. I think the lowest steak option they had is $56. If you add um, an alcoholic beverage, like a mimosa or something like that, I think that's like a minimum of $15, you know, so easily the bill can jump quickly, but there are, you know, where two people could go and have brunch, you know, $100 would take care of two people, you know, basing that on you only both order one drink you both ordered one entree and maybe you guys order one side to share you got a side to share you know like that 30 bucks plus 44 is um what is that 74 74 plus 9 yeah 83 so there you have it and then plus tax plus a tip so yeah, you could do it. Or like I said in the video, just order one of everything and then split it because it's enough for two people for sure. So that's what I like doing. I like going somewhere for the first time and trying everything that I think is appealing to me. And then boom, share it. And then next time you know exactly what you want or if you're never coming back. Um, they did have the dessert options too, guys. They had like a cold chocolate cake. They had um, 
a cheesecake option. They had a warm chocolate chip cookie option. Um, they had like four or five dessert. Oh, they had an apple pie option. So I didn't try any of it. I kind of like move into dessert world like slowly. I normally most restaurants when the food is good, the dessert is disgusting. Like Nordstrom Cafe, desserts are gross. <laughs> and y'all know I love that place. <laughs> to tell y'all that the desserts are gross. Mm, nasty. Anyway, guys, um, so you know what I'm gonna do? My next video, I'm gonna review Nordstrom Cafe. I'm gonna give you guys all the tea on Nordstrom Cafe because I I consider myself um um uh, I don't know elite reviewer for that for Nordstrom Cafe okay so anyway let's get into Waldorf Astoria okay so hands down the Waldorf Astoria spa is my number one and only choice for massage therapy um I love it I love the aesthetic of it I love the feel of it I love the music I love their um, locker slash fitting room. I love their um, robes. I love their linen robes, you guys. I love. Um, hold on, real quick. Let me turn that down. Okay. Um, I love everything. Okay. Um, they have snacks for you. They have drinks for you. Um, I love their tables that you get on. They're the warm leather um, massage tables. Super plush. Um, I mean, you get on there, you don't want to get off. The rooms are well lit. Like, they have that peachy halogen vibe. Um, the couple's rooms are huge. Um, you're not crammed in there. They actually have... Um, like a huge garden tub in there so like if you were staying if you wanted to pay for extra time um to stay in the room you guys could take baths in there um you know for married couples and all that um so lovely 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 i like the products that they use um it feels good it's really hydrating you don't get off the t um, table feeling oily um you know they're very hospitable they have excellent customer service just really attentive um they're another place that includes the gratuity with your service um pricing but they also go out of their way to um offer you the choice do you want to change you know your amount do you want to decrease or increase your amount um so you know that makes it nice is the waldorf astoria more so on the pricey side of spa um yes um to give you guys an example they when you get a couple's massage they charge you individually um for being in the same room with two therapists they give you it's like an additional 60 dollar fee for that and then they charge you 20 percent on the total service per therapist so for example a massage a couple of massage can start at 185 per person which means you're already at 370 dollars a 20 percent um gratuity is 74 dollars so um you know they split that between the two therapists and then boom you know so if you go in there and get a facial they have an express um hydrofacial and that cost like one either 75 or 195 and so yeah it's 195 for the express facial it's a 30 minute facial and then I gave you the price for the 50 minute couples massage and you don't want to be late because they only give you the time that's left so if your appointment's at 3 p.m. you should be there I would say by 2 30 so you could get checked in change your clothes and be ready to get on your table 
by like 250 so you could start right at three and get the full 50 minutes hands on if you get there at three and do all that you'll get on the table maybe like by 315 and get 35 minutes um, because you're paying for time and that's something everyone should understand you're paying for time so your time slot is 3 p.m to 4 p.m they really not even to 4 p.m it's like 3 p.m to 3 55 p.m then they step out at 5 at 50 minutes after you get like a couple minutes to get dressed and get out that room so that they can get it ready for their next appointment okay so um super enjoyable i will say um that they're not very clear on their pricing like if you called and asked them how much is their couple's massage they'll say 185 and you'll think at least i was like wow that's really good price for the Waldorf Astoria right um it wasn't until i was ringing up that it was clarified per person so i had the mindset i took my daughter for her birthday last year so she got a facial and a massage and um i was under the impression the bill was going to be like three something and then um i was get, i brought cash so i was going to give each therapist twenty dollars cash and then that's it i thought that was going to be the end of it but instead um they didn't have change i ended up having like a large bill with me they didn't have change i was like that's okay i'll get change at the front desk and give it to you guys so that's when i got up there to find out that my bill total was 684 dollars <laughs> so um do i think it's worth it absolutely um, would I do it again? Yes, I will. Um, I really love it. Um, I'm going to go to Chateau Alain, um at some point, but no later than my birthday. So that'll be September um, this year. I'm going to do that winery resort tour. I'm going to vlog it. And um, I'm going to... Um, do the massage when i go so i'll do a couple's massage then and um so i will definitely let you guys know you know if they won me over they're like a 35 mile drive away from atlanta so they're in brazelton georgia and they have a lot of um, restaurants it's a resort style property so it's geared to have everything you want and need right around nestled around the hotel so you don't have to spend a lot of time like in traffic you can it's a vacation you know so i'm definitely going to try that enjoy that and i'll let you guys know you know i'll do a review and everything on that um but i will say for the waldorf astoria i feel like when it comes to my body i want a certain environment i want my trust level has to be like at an all-time high i don't want to question um the cleanliness of the linen um i don't want to question the integrity of the staff i don't want to question the products they're using the containers they're using um i don't I don't want to question the table how many like I don't like going places where they put these um, table warmers on the table and so all they're doing is switching out the sheets all over top of the table warmers I only like when the warmer is a part of the actual makeup of the table those leather um, massage tables the plush ones they have them a part of the product um, and so they can like adjust the heat setting they can um make it where it's at the upper body if you don't want to the lower like you can ju you just have a lot of settings options but also you know when they take those sheets off of there and they sanitize they're sanitizing the entire leather table so it's just so many things about it that will make me fork over the bucks every single time um when i sincerely want to be de-stressed um because me thinking about the cleanliness and how many people and all that stuff like that is not going to help me melt all this away it's not gonna it's not gonna do that 
so um do i think it's a treat yes i do think it's a treat do i feel special when i go there do i feel special when i'm making my appointment yes okay things to consider when you call the waldorf astoria to make your appointment um you will use a credit card or debit card at the time of scheduling it must match the person who's scheduling it so if your name is tim buck two your credit card needs to say tim buck two when you call up there to make an appointment um they will not let you call and make appointment for lena you know it's gonna have to be mrs tim buck two you know um so that's a that's a challenge I don't know if the Waldorf Astoria, which is also a Hilton property, if they have an option where you can buy like gift cards or spa cards or something like that. But if they do, um, then that would be the option if you're gifting it. And I do recommend this is a fantastic gift for showing, you know, someone that you care, you love them, um, you want to get bonus pucks, you want to get out the doghouse with them. Um, it's a great gift across the board they do have on their website they do have spa packages that are exclusive to online reservation only so if you did want to get um some type of spa package you can um and the prices are very good um but you have to do it by um scheduling online only they will never offer it to you over the phone um another thing to consider is if you wanted to stay like if you're a hilton honors member you could stay overnight and they do have spa packages sometimes when you call the reservations um and you can ask them like do you have a package that includes dining do you have um, a package that includes a spa credit like for valentine's they had um like a turn down service like chocolate covered strawberries um a spa uh, credit like it was a couple of things that went with it so like you could enjoy their restaurant um some of the amenities were closed like their indoor pool wasn't available things like that but you could stay enjoy it and get all those hilton honors points um because you could charge your spa services to your room and that's how you get the hilton, hilton honors points um just like if you stayed at the embassy suites across the street where ruth chris is you could um charge a maximum of $150 to your room um, at Ruth Chris and get those Hilton Honor points as well. So um, I need to do a review for Ruth Chris as well for you guys um, inside of the Embassy Suite. So I'll do that um, and let you guys know what I think about it. Um, but yeah, so those are things to consider. Those are ways to um, justify the expense or the cost of it um if you stay the night i definitely think if you live if you don't live here in buckhead or if you're visiting and you're not staying here in buckhead i say make a night of it um it just makes it so much more pleasurable and enjoyable um and it just really knocks off the stress and it adds that pampering um element to your spa treatment stay in the hotel you know, just come down, get your spa treatment, go back, get in your bathtub, just zen, you know, order room service or order from the restaurant, have it brought up, you know, like just indulge. It's like perfect, you guys. So then you get all your Hilton Honors points and you could do it again, you know, save up your Hilton Honors points and use them. You can use them um, for the spa. So, um, you know that's exciting you know those are different ways to pay for things a lot of these videos that i do you guys um i am using reward points to do them if i'm not on a date or if i wasn't gifted um the experience where i didn't receive like a um, gift card some of these um places that i frequent they send me gift cards um and so then that's um another way that i'm able to afford to go to these different places um, sometimes I get lift ride credits um, and so I'll just have you know accumulated different things that's another way that I end up going to Sephora or Bath and Body Works or Victoria's Secret I get tons of gift cards um, from them in the mail that'll say like free gift free panty free candles um, free gift with purchase plus 
a free candle um then they have like the percentages off which i have quite a few of those in my bag right now um i'll get you'll be surprised at how many of these businesses have birthday rewards you sign up you put your email and your um cell phone number in there it'll text you a code for you to be able to get a free gift up to a certain amount of money um I pretty much am very loyal at shopping places where I'm earning rewards and points for my spending. Um, Macy's is big about that. Bloomingdale's is huge about that. Nordstrom is huge about that. And you guys might be shocked. You know, Nordstrom Rack, you get points for shopping at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. Um, Saks Fifth and Saks Fifth is really good about gift cards. Um, for your purchases and uh, off fifth sacks is really good about giving you um, special coupons that go for your entire purchase so they may not give you gifts cards or rewards they do it in the compensation of discount so like when you spend a hundred dollars well they do give you like dollars off too like sometimes you'll get twenty five dollars off of a hundred dollar purchase or you know use this twenty dollar um, credit on your next purchase of any amount um, but mostly I see with them like percentages off so like Kohl's is huge about constantly giving you Kohl's cash they give you birthday rewards I mean I can go on my email right now and find tons of money um, to go to these stores Target is huge um, I am Target faithful you guys they're constantly giving me reward dollars gift cards um, if you have the app, it pops up as text alerts all the time telling you um, the different specials that's going on. Like during Christmas time, they had all the time when you go in there and spend $80 twice, you got a $15 gift card. When you go in there and spend $100 twice, you got a $20 gift card. Um, they were giving out $30 gift cards when you spent so much money on toys, books. They had buy one, get one for books. Like when I tell you all the time target is giving when you buy your normal cleaning products you get a ten dollar gift card when you buy your normal household items like paper towels um clorox wipes or um lysol wipes or up and up like all the time in hair products too and if you didn't know ulta is now inside of target as well as cvs um pharmacy and you get points for shopping there you get your ulta points still and you get your target point rewards so and it racks up fast like using your app in target is equal to using the red card if you if you don't have that credit card but if you use the credit card as well you get like triple the points so <sighs> y'all I don't play about it I don't play about my coins I really enjoy making you know my money work for me um the fetch rewards app that i shared with you guys i talked to y'all about the fetch rewards app and i put my link in that video for you guys to download the app every time you upload your receipts you get points and you transfer them into gift cards um and they have everything they have target on there so like once i get so many points i'll transfer them into target gift cards um they had american express on there they have like every kind of store you could think of um you can make it a visa gift card if you want it um, you could go if you know you're gonna go shop at a certain store you could look in there before you go and see like oh I'm gonna go to Best Buy oh here's a Best Buy gift card and you could transfer into Best Buy gift card so these are the many ways that I'm able to get things that I enjoy um, you know I've learned to accept myself a long time ago and stop fighting it and all that stuff like that and just find creative ways um, to get the things that I enjoy that would cost a significant amount of money. For example, I was telling you guys in that last video um, about the Twilly de Hermes, um, the perfume that I um, found out about through Jeremy the Fragrance Guy on here on YouTube. That perfume um, easily was about $140 or more depending on what size you got and depending on um like if you got a set you know so i found that perfume in macy's backstage for 79 dollars for the 85 milliliter which is 
about 2.87 ounces almost three ounces so it's a very large bottle um then they had the ter or ter t-e-r-r-e -E, uh de Arez, which is for men they had the 3.3 ounce bottle um in there with the sh uh, shaving gel um as a set and it was like 99 dollars um, and that was a big deal because that's a big savings on that set alone. Um, so these um, clearance stores that the department stores are offering like um, Nordstrom Rack, Saks Off Fifth, Neiman's Last Call, um, you know, Macy's Backstage, all of that like that. Those are great places to stock up and look for these things that you really love because Macy's, you get on um, Macy's Rewards quickly like in ten dollar increments so it's easy to hurry up and have eighty dollars worth of rewards that you can use you know and pick up that perfume it's easy to do that when you consistently shop there you know you get other things your shoes your kitchen stuff your linen stuff who knows whatever it is you need um but it's easy to rack up on those points you know when you keep shopping at the same places all the time so anyway guys that's something that i wanted to share with you all um yes i will be returning to the waldorf historia um if you guys want me to do more videos talking about ways to pay for things that you love um places you could look for high-end things or luxury items or um you know just things that you're interested in but you might not want to pay the full price um, I definitely could do a video about that, but I definitely mention um, these things throughout all, like when I do that what's in my bag video or when I do what's on my Poshmark um, video where I show you guys like every single thing I've listed on Poshmark or when I do videos talking about um, like try on haul videos and stuff like that, I definitely share with you guys like where to go what to do like the different places that you can find these things and truly get a big bang for your buck like like shop tagger it used to be an app called shop tagger now it's called karma super bomb um resource for people who love you know you're gonna shop you have children you have a man you have a husband you have all these different you have mom dad you got brothers and sisters nieces and nephews you have co-workers you know what i mean like you're involved you have organizations you have best friends all these different things so at any given point you're invited to things birthdays anniversaries holidays to come up you're shopping for some reason or another easter's coming up you know all of that right spring break so shop tagger which all formerly karma formerly known as shop tagger is a way where you can be online you can click on an item you share you click share on the i so you click on the item and then you click share and then the karma app um, pops up and you click on karma and then what happens is whenever a price change or anything changes about that item it will send you an alert so you could wake up in the morning you could have looked at who knows a pair of shoes and it could have been you know full price yesterday or even earlier today it could have been full price and now it went on sale for 50 percent off you're going to get a text or a boom your item that's going on sale for 50 percent off and then you can get on there real quick and buy it or order it whatever you want to do so um that's another bomb resource because believe it or not a lot of your favorite department stores or favorite items go on sale they'll have flash sales one day sale all the time you don't know how many times i'll get in a text or email that says such and such is having a 70 percent off sale today only 60 percent off additional clearance or 50 percent off you know brands that they never you know put on sale um you know so where there's a will there's a way guys um bloomingdale's is notorious about putting um a sale on top of a sale like you know when you spend a hundred dollars you get twenty five dollars off plus every hundred dollars you spend you get a twenty five dollar gift card loyalty um card plus you're gonna get 
so many points for the purchase. So a $100 purchase can easily turn into like a $50 purchase because you got $25 off right then and there. So it went down to 75. Then you got a $25 reward, loyalty reward card. So now it went down to $50. And then they're gonna give you so much percentage off. Um, I mean, they're gonna give you so many reward points for your purchase. So, you know, those are the days to get stuff you really want. Like when you want that Montclair coat or that Burberry trench, or you want some new Uggs, you know, stuff that costs over $100, those are the times to get those things because you will clean up. You could buy three pairs of Uggs with a sale like that and only spent $150, so it's like three for the price of one. So that's how, you know, a mom with three kids or a mom with, you know, whatever, that's how you get that done you know and walk out of there like a champion and then still have loyalty reward points that's coming back to you so you can go get the next set of things that you need you know what i'm saying so anyway guys we're gonna be buying clothes for the rest of our lives so my biggest thing is like i'm not trying to pay full price or just spend my money one time and i gotta come right back in here so okay guys i was supposed to be doing my hair all this time and I've been noticing I'm getting so engrossed in the topic that I don't comb my hair, guys. I was supposed to be combing my hair with y'all all this time because I wanted to put some oils and stuff in it. Oh, well, I'm going to do the next video. <laughs> I'm going to do the next video and we'll do my hair in that one, okay, guys? Because this one's already long. Mm -hmm. Stay on. Stop recording.